हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सीक्रेट्स ऑफ हैप्पीनेस एंड सक्सेस माई नेम इज़ चंद्रानी साह एंड टूडे आई एम हियर विद येट अनादर सरप्राइजिंग टॉपिक येट अनादर इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक टू डिस्कस विद यू सो हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो दैट वाई देर आर वेरी फ्यू पीपल लाइक टॉप फाइव परसेंट पीपल इन द वर्ल्ड हु आर एक्सट्रीमली सक्सेसफुल बट द रेस्ट फिट नाइन्टी फाइव परसेंट स्टेज एवरेज Do you want to know this difference? Why there is a difference? If you want to know, then please stay tuned. Now, do you know that there is something which is common with you and Bill Gates? Did you know that? If you didn't, then let me tell you. That is your brain. Yes, I am talking about this physical brain, which is there inside your bony skull, which is the brain muscle. so it requires it is made of tissues and muscles and if it needs oxygen flow flow of blood like any other muscle in our body and it is made of neurons and there are a lot of neuro connections in our brain and our brain governs all the functions of our body so it is the most important part of our body other than our heart now as i told you this is the this is something which is very common which is similar the brain you are having the brain i am having are very similar and the brain bill gates is having is also very similar the structure the physical structure is exactly similar then why does it make a difference what makes bill gates different what makes him so successful and what makes an average person not so successful so the answer is the mind that is not the same so there are two things the brain and the mind both are different things many people use these two things interchangeably as if both are the same or they don't know what is the difference between brain and the mind so in simple language brain is the hardware and mind is the software let me give you a proper example a very simple example many of you will have a laptop or a computer so you can touch the laptop you can feel the laptop so that is the hardware which is having a cpu which is having the memory inside it the chip is inside that which functions so that is the hardware part there is some keyboard there is a screen you can see there are some uh, usbs uh, which you can enter usb ports are there so this is the physical the hardware part of the laptop now the laptop to operate we need something to be installed that is called the operating system or the software yes now say if you buy a laptop with very good features very good specifications the latest specifications very advanced with us say core i10 now and you uh, take some windows 95 and install into that computer now how will it function it will not function to its fullest it will not be able to use its full potential now you do one more thing what you do is you don't install any antivirus and connect it to the internet and use it it will get corrupted the system will get corrupted very easily there will be a lot of viruses so again the system will get slower it will hang it will get corrupted so many issues will come so do you want that you don't we as human beings are having this exact hardware which is our brain the physical brain that that i just talked about and the software also which is our mind so again i'm repeating repeat with me our brain is the hardware and our mind is the software now even if you have the same brain as a successful person your mind may not be the same there are different levels of the mind i will i will discuss it in my next video but in this video i can tell you this much that how our mind performs depends on how the programming of the mind is being done yes how the programming of the mind is done as i told you there is windows uh, 95 it's a very outdated operating system but there is windows 10 also which is a very advanced operating system so what is the difference the programming is different so similarly 
the mind how the mind programming is done for a very successful person and how the programming is done for a very average normal person is very very different and how this programming is done is this programming is affected or is uh, determined by how you were brought up what you have seen in your childhood what you have heard in your childhood how you uh, what you read what you see what are the people you uh, are close with so it depends on all of these things and how you how much you work on your mind do you work on your mind do you put time money effort to work on your mind i assume that is a no but if you still do then kudos to you you are on the right path now as human beings we have the latest brain what do i mean by latest brain there is a process of evolution so what it does is when we used to stay in the caves the kind of human brain we had the hardware we had and now in this 21st century the kind of brain we are having now are very different are totally different because this is the latest hardware the latest upgraded brain we are having the evolution process make sure the brain is getting upgraded to cope up with the environment cope up with the nature that the human being is staying in yes now we have the latest brain now if we put all the if we put in our mind all the old belief systems all the old thinking negative thinking all the garbage all everything then the software will be outdated right so it will we will not be able to use the full potential whereas on the other hand extremely successful people who are working on programming their brain on the right direction on the positive direction they are able to use the full potential of their brain why because they are doing the right programming of the mind so if this much is clear then i will tell you more about how our mind works on three levels in my next video so i hope this information is useful to you and you can share please share your thoughts about this in the comment section and if you have any questions you can you are always welcome to ask in the comment section i'll be very happy to read your questions and answer them and uh, yeah so stay well stay blessed till we meet again thank you